Hey, howdy, hi guys. Hello, hi everybody. It's Amy Rose with Amy Rose Recent Crafts. Come on in, say hello, where you're from, and what the weather's like. We're hot again and overcast, so. <laughs> when is it gonna be just like normal? I don't know. I still have no comments. I don't know what's going on. Wait, hold up. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. There's so many people doing lives and on the internet today. Well, now it's getting, whoa, we don't want to hear me. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little rocky when it comes to the lives itself and freezing and whatnot. So we're going to do our best here. Hi, Georgiana. Hello. Are you here in San Antonio or are you, tra well, you're not really traveling, but <laughs> I know you travel a lot and it sucks that you can't. Boo. But it's okay. We find our own little camping hideaways sometimes. Come on in, say hello, I see some on. Don't sit in the back, say hello. If you're a first timer, welcome. We're gonna be doing something fun today. Well, I always do something fun, I guess. <laughs> Did the flamingo yesterday. And since I have pink feathers still everywhere and I haven't really vacuumed it, I was gonna be like, um, let's just go ahead and make some more mess. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today. Do I make slides when you show each type of and I make it? Oh, I can, absolutely, Georgie. And I was actually thinking about that last night um, when I was downloading videos onto my YouTube channel. Yes, if you haven't heard, I have a YouTube channel. It's Amy Rose Space Crafts, and I was going to put it on the YouTube videos so that way you guys have it. Absolutely. Hello, hello. Come on in. I know there's people, there's lives going on today, but I was like, I said I was going to, I was going to come on and I was going to show you something. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I just didn't know how I was going to do it or the logistics of it. So we're winging it. <laughs> I always say that we're winging it. We're going to try to figure out what we're going to do. So we will be using the unique and the Creek horse board. Now the horse board can be used for anything, not just horses. I made a reindeer last Christmas on it. It was adorable with um, jingle bells for Christmas. It was like the first thing that sold in my craft show. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll have to make more of these this year. You can make, um, obviously horses, there's unicorns, there's, um, uh, Barbara Pope suggested, hi CD. Um, a dog and I was looking at my dog Sandy today I may be doing Sandy on one of the horse boards um, but one of my favorite movies from back in the day because I am a sci-fi nerd is Clash of the Titans and either you like the old one or the new one or you like both I like them both and Pegasus is in Clash of the Titans. So I wanted to try to do a Pegasus. I've done a unicorn before. I think then I've done several. I just didn't, I only did one live on one. But how fun for a unicorn and a Pegasus and a horse and whatever on a little girl's room wall, just to brighten it up a little bit, just to have a little, you know, joy. So that's what we're, that's what I'm doing today. Hey Pam, hello, hello. CD, I still think you should do lives. I want to get, I want to get you one of these days to do lives. Hi, Candy. Everybody's coming in now. <laughs> How you doing, girl? Ow, ow, ow. So my cat is down there again. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be making a Pegasus. And I am going to be using the, ooh, I already have these cut up. The fur yarn that I used on the Unique in the Creek uh, floppy ear bunny 
I had um, got some more. I've got two rolls of this um, from a D stash at Unique and the Creekers. So, um, and I know that Joann's was selling them online, but it's the, the fuzzy yarn. So I'm using that. However, you can use any yarn you want. Um, this would look really cute as a dog as well. When I was making, I'm like, oh, that'd be really cute as a, a schnauzer. Is that what the name of it is? I don't know. We have rescues and they're all mixed. They're mutts, so I don't know breed names that, that well. Ah, oh, hello, come on in. So we're gonna be using that. Um, just because if it's gonna go on a little girl's wall, I want it to be fun and furry and just, hmm. Now I was going to use, and I may still use, the um, butterfly wings. from, where did I get this, the Dollar Tree? I think I got it. I may use these, but when I started looking at it, it looked more like a horse butterfly than Pegasus. And it may evolve into that and turn into that. I don't know yet. <laughs> so when I saw the wings, I'm like, <gasps> I got inspired by the wings and the boas. Now guys, like I said, I made a mess yesterday. I'm gonna make a mess today. I got a really deep purple from, this was back when Mardi Gras, and then a lighter purple. These are both from the Dollar Tree. This, they may, I don't know if they still have, um, in like, if they don't sell all, out of all of them, they'll just put it in where the little, see, feathers everywhere, the dress up area, um, where the little girls, um, like, uh, the wings and everything are. So I got the light purple and the dark purple. So we're going to be playing with that for the main. I just wanted to, you know, have some fun. What little girl wouldn't want this really fun looking uh, flying horse on their wall, especially if they're really love and into horses and unicorns and mythical creatures, etc. So that's what we're going to do today. And honestly, that's it. That's really it. That's all we'll be using. I have some a glitter ribbon that we may be using for the hello for the um, uh, the reins. I don't know. I have purple glitter and silver glitter. I just went into my stash for my mom's and I got it from there. So we're just gonna play today. Basically, it's playtime here in Amy Rose Recent Crafts. So let's get to it, okay? Hello, hello, I was missing. Hello, Missy, hello, hi, Cecile. Oh, very cool. Yeah, hi, Tina. I have um, the one that Lori's using today, the one with the little girl holding a ladybug that says, hello, I have an idea for that one. I was gonna do that one, but then I'm like, oh, I already posted this, but that's okay. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna bring you down to the board. And if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes in three, two, one. There we go. Now, the horse board is really big. I'll give you the measurements in just a minute. And if you're just joining, hello, my name is Amy Rose with Amy Rose Wreaths and Crafts. On Facebook, we are live. Please go ahead and force push me out. That's the S-H-A-R-E button. Or if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. I heard appreciate it. Let me go ahead and put this over here. I hope it's not in the way of the camera. So the horse boards are now in plastic and they measure 22 inches by, by almost 15. They are, it is 15 inches, 22 by 15. It's a large board and you can have so much fun on it. You can use, what I'm gonna use today is the, um, the fuzzy yarn. You can use um, poly burlap, you can use deco mesh, you can use just whatever yarn you want. It's really up to you, the sky's the limit. So, see, I've already started. I'm gonna just have a mess. I'm just gonna put that over there and then I'll vacuum later. Ah, oh, there we go. 
My granddaughter painted her bedroom yesterday and just added geographic shapes on the wall. Very cool, Cecile. See? It's amazing with a little bit of time what we can accomplish, right? Because before she may not have been able to do that. You know? Who knows? Okay. So with the fuzzy yarn, I don't have the SKU number. Um, I already <laughs> I already had it open. So I'm just like, I'm gonna use this today. That's all I'm I'm just gonna the whole horse is going to be this really pretty fuzzy yarn. And because it's still a horse, um, per se, even though it's a Pegasus, we'll go with that. <laughs> I am cutting the um, snout and the head at six inches. And then the body itself, I'm cutting at 12 and I'm doubling them. Okay. And you're going to zip tie each set of holes from row one to row 10. With the new plastic boards, it's awesome. They're numbered now, and in between, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little dash, which means these two holes go together, these two holes go together, etc. And then it helps when you go up to the head that these two holes go together, these two holes go together, and it just makes it a lot easier for you guys to work with. Don't be intimidated by this board. Please don't. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Um, once you get in the deco mesh and the poofs and all those beautiful unicorns, it may get a little tricky, but this one for sure, go ahead and try. So once again, how we load the board, I'm gonna go ahead and start down here because these holes right here, and there's a, a the hole and there's a dash, this is for the main, okay? And then there's two holes up here that are for the, um, the bangs. I know there's a proper term for them. I just don't know what that proper term, term is. So when you're loading the boards, you're gonna go down one hole and up through the other, okay? It's as simple as that. Now, if you wanted to use pipe cleaners, you could. It's just easier to use zip ties sometimes, and especially on this um, uh, creation that we're making today, I'm gonna use the zip ties. Now, this is considered zip tie open, okay? You'll hear this a lot when you're watching other videos. Zip tie open, loading open, or loading closed. Loading closed is just means you're closing it just a little bit, you're hearing that zip zip. If that helps you to make sure that you're only doing a little bit zip zip, then please go ahead and do so. <laughs> I'll, I don't always do that in my head, zip zip, zip zip, zip zip. And that's what you're going to do. And I'm doing every other because this is so thin, but it's going to be really pretty. So you're going to do every set of holes on the horse board. Okay. Hello. Hello. Come on in. Excuse me. Back in a minute. Dinner arrived. Woohoo. Cecile, you better let me know what, what dinner is. So let me go ahead and bring this up. I did go ahead and start because I wanted to make sure that I did have coverage. So that is the horse board with all of the zip ties in. And it looks really daunting. It's not, guys. It's really not. It's super easy. The daunting part is just uh, cutting your fuzzy yarn or whatever yarn you're going to use. I also have the thick chunk yarn that I've used before. I'm going to use this um, on the ear and I'm gonna cover it with the fuzzy yarn just so that way it stays up because this is, it'll flop right down. So you can use this type of yarn. You can use that soft, um, I don't have it with me. It's a, it's a soft chunk yarn, um, completely up to you. So the bottom row, I have a zip tie in every one. And like I said, I cut this at 12 inches for the body. Where's my scissors? Ha. Cutting at 12 inches. Now you can make it as long or as short as you want. It's completely up to you. 12 inches. Then you're going to fold it in half. And I'm gonna to try to work towards, where's the camera? Oop, let me get this out of the way. 
get it out of the way. So it doesn't matter which way you put it in, the loop here or cut part there, you're not gonna see it. You're really not. And I'm gonna put it through the zip tie close and then I'm gonna zip tie it down. Okay? That's all it is. When I tell you I do easy, I do easy. <laughs> sometimes I'll do complicated and sometimes I won't. But this is super easy. You can do this and with any yarn. That loop yarn will look really pretty on this. I thought about that too and I'm just like, oh, Oh, but I didn't want to go to Walmart because then I would have to put masks and gloves on and I'm like, no, I just don't want to do that. And stay home, save life. <laughs> so once again, 12 inches, fold it in half, okay? And then you're going to put it right through the zip tie. And then zip tie it down. And I'll cut these when I'm done with the row. See? Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 12 inches, fold it in half, put it through. The head will be a little bit different and I'll show you. This is just gonna make it fun, furry, just great for any kid's room, really. Now, if you didn't want to put the, the uh, feather boas, that's my go-to for mains. You can use burlap, you can use deco mesh, completely up to you. There's not, there's no right or wrong to, wait, is that 12? Yes, okay. <laughs> I have to make sure I add it in half. And see, the daunting part is just cutting all of your pieces and then maybe loading the board, but you can load the board while you're sitting watching Netflix, TV, whatever the case may be. You can do this project that way too. You don't have to be standing up. You don't have to be at your craft table. Hi, Julia. How many skeins? Two. I use two of the schemes for these. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, cause that's what I had and I have this much left over cause I cut some six inch pieces and then some 12. Now I'm just using my zip tie gun and tightening and cutting those zip ties. Okay. See how pretty that is? Now it is messy, guys. If you're going to use this yarn, it will get everywhere. That's okay because the product is going to be beautiful. And then you just go to your next row and you keep on trucking. But see how fast that went? It was so, so fast. So I'm going to go a little bit faster for you guys. But please ask questions. Oh, Cecilia back. Okay, what'd you get for, hi Tom. What'd you get for dinner? You have to tell all of us. I'm thinking about making macaroni and cheese with um, hot dogs. I don't know, something easy. <laughs> I don't know yet. My piles are getting mixed together. Once again, these are 12 inch cuts and I'm just folding them up which means I'm doubling and then just putting them in the zip tie. And like I said, it does not matter if you have the, see, <laughs> if you have the loop on one side or the other side, you're not going to see it. And if it really bothers you because you're that, it will, then just go ahead and cut it. It's not that big of a deal. <gasps> oh, did you get a deep dish to seal? I miss deep dish pizzas. I really, really do. Oh, nobody understands a deep dish pizza unless you're in the Chicagoland area. Cause a deep dish is in a pan. Maybe I should make that on a live. It's like in a cake pan. Like I have a, a, a silver cake pan. It's not very big. And you put the, um, the crust in it. Then you put, 
You always gonna say I'm nuts, but I'm not nuts. Shirley, hello, hello, Shirley. You just, it's, it's like building it backwards. That's what people say. I'm like, no, it's building it the right way. <laughs> Especially if you grow up in the area. <laughs> it's just so good. Ugh. We used to go to Home Run In Pizza when we were younger with our grandparents. <gasps> that place was amazing. It was downtown Chicago called Home Run In Pizza. And when my sister and I went to the dentist, let me just do, oh, it got caught. Ah. Because we had our dentist appointments downtown, my grandparents took us to a uh, teaching dental facility basically like a like a hospital like a, a teaching dentist <laughs> dentistry and since we were downtown we loved that's what made us love going to the dentist is because afterwards we would go to home run and pizza and it was awesome oh i'm so jelly you have a deep dish That would be good though. Hey, we do have garlic bread. Okay, so we're on our, we're on row four now. I'm just doing the same thing. Yes, yes. And you guys, when this, when yarn goes on sale, pick up a bunch. Because you could do horses with it. I'm sorry, you can't see. I'll go this way. You could do horses with it. You could do the gnomes, the beards. You could do a whole bunch. You could put it on a, um, a Unique in the Creek flower board. You could put it on the character board with an insert. And do the little pom-poms like I did with the, the bunny. Don't just think mesh, guys when it comes to these boards. And if you do want to try these boards, but you don't know and you're not for sure, I do have my YouTube station. I have, um, I put in basic, well, I wouldn't say basic, but like the, the videos of like starting out and how to's for the boards themselves. I'll be adding others as well, like wireframes, etc. But um, if you're new and you want to try it, go to uniqueinthecreek.com and type in A-R-C-R-A-F-T-S, all in capital letters, at checkout, and you'll get 10% off with my affiliate link. Or just go ahead and I pin posted at the top of my page the Unique in the Creek link for me. And that way you don't have to type in anything. It'll automatically give the discount at the, at the end. See? And we only have two more rows of the horse to do. See? Shirley, that's awesome. Oh, you got gluten issues, Julia? That's no bueno. I shouldn't be eating gluten should be eating any bread that's not on keto but Dan and I were like eh. it is what it is you try to stay healthy but when you're when you're told to stay home and you can only go out what's the quickest thing because I was at the supermarket yesterday and I just wanted to get in get out so I just grabbed easy stuff to make And sometimes we'll order out. Maybe we'll order out tonight. I don't know. Air crafts, huh, Julia? <laughs> Let me type it in for you. There you go. That's what you're going to push. <laughs> or you just kick it, kick it, click on the link. Thank you, Julia, though. I appreciate you. Right. Some of these zip ties are hard, which is awesome because when they go down, 
they're going to go down like really easy or they're going to go down um a lot tighter but these are 18 pound six inch zip ties and these we use them because the head of the zip tie fits right in the hole and like when you're doing something like this when you tighten it it's gonna it's gonna sit right in a hole anyways because it's not it's not thick it makes just makes it really easy don't worry about your bed ah uh, boo am I already done yeah <laughs> I was ready to do another one if you don't have a zip tie gun no problem if I can find my little clippers you can also use little clippers and just clip them off, clip them off that way. Or I have my cobalt and you can clip, clip them off that way. It's not that big of a deal. What's with the angry faces? I have been cooking every day. Oh, Cecile, what, why didn't you call me? Girl, just leave it on your doorstep. I would have grown grab it. <laughs> I've been trying to cook. Yes, we had wings last night. And then the night before that, I made shepherd's pie. Super simple, guys. If you're not familiar with shepherd's pie, it's just ground beef or ground turkey. I put onions and I cook it on the skillet. Then... Once that's cooked, well, while that's cooking, I'll make mashed potatoes. Or if you have mashed potatoes left over, it's a great recipe for like after the holidays because everybody has mashed potatoes during the holidays. Um, you're going to put your cooked meat down in a casserole dish. Then you're going to put a can of corn. Now you can leave out the corn if you want or you can put green beans or whatever. Then I top it with uh, mashed potatoes. And then for crunch, <laughs> potato chips. Like I said, this is not keto, guys. It's not keto at all. It's not very healthy, but it's quick and it's easy. And then you, um, what was I saying? The mashed potatoes crunched up. We had uh, sour cream and onion chips. So that's what I use. I use sour cream and onion chips. I crushed them up. I put them over as a crunch layer and then cheese on top. You bake it for 20 minutes at 350, it's awesome. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> he is not in a timeout. He's actually doing something. <laughs> yes. Oh, we need to share more recipes. Hi, Naomi. Hey, Linda. You're baking a cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Okay, so that's the body. Oh, it's so furry. It's so, so furry. And you can't see the board, guys. That's the point. That's why I doubled up. Now, let me put it this way so that way you can see what I'm doing with um, the head. Hold on, let me get a sip of water. Right? We're all going to go to Cecile's house. We're just going to set up lawn chairs six feet apart. And she can cook for all of us. But Linda, I may go to your house too. Because I love me some cheesecake. This girl loves some cheesecake. Okay. So that's the end of the body. So here is where you start the head. Now the head is going to be um, a little different. It's my six inch pieces. And guys, wow, he must have heard you. They were asking about you. Oh. Can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> they were like, hello. Where is Dan? Hi, Priscilla. How are you? I know, right, Julia? I just want to go everywhere. We try to have, but our main thing is if we can't decide on where to go or what to eat. I don't know. Do you have a rule in your house if you guys can't decide? what you want for dinner or lunch or whatever. Do you have a rule? Is it automatically Italian? 
or whatever, but here it's Chinese. We'll always order Chinese. Oh, taco soup, yum. Julia, I'm gonna have to check that out. Julia, PM me your group so that way I can join that. <clears throat> Not that I really do makeup, guys. <laughs> okay, sorry. So for the snout, I have six inch pieces. These were 12 that I doubled up. This is six inch. I'm going to fold it. So it's gonna be a little teeny tiny. And I'm gonna put that into the zip tie. I want to say about half an inch, guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> please hold. I tried to tighten it up and I, when I was tightening it up, I pulled that way. <laughs> How silly is that? How silly. So don't do what I just did. <laughs> okay, so you fold it in half. Is that my six inch? Yes, it's my six inch. Can you see my table? <laughs> it's full of fur. Okay, I am not gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull this down. See, these are a little bit harder. They're they're stronger. I like that, but, and I'm going to continue to do the same thing. So I take my six inch piece, I fold it in half and I'm putting it in there. Hi, Sandy Hobbit. Hi. You want to come up here really quick and show them? Come here. Come. This is Sandy Hobbit. Oh, they can't see. This is Sandy Hobbit. I think I'm going to do a horse for her. Come here. Look at her profile. It's like perfect for... <laughs> okay, go ahead. It's perfect for the horse board. And it's just black and she has brown around her. She's just cute. <laughs> I love her. But during the day, she's definitely Dan's dog. Um, at night when I'm on the couch, she's my dog. Okay. I just put sanitizer on my hands so I'm letting it dry. What happened? Oh, Ellen, wait, wait, wait. Who passed? I missed. Oh, Joe Duffy. I didn't know that. Hi, Melina. Come on in. So let me go ahead and cut these off. And then I'm just going up the head. And like I said, it's really easy because on the boards, it shows you which to put your zip ties in. Can you make a dog out of the horse board? You sure can. Is that six inch? Yes. You sure can. I made a reindeer last year. Good. Oh. I don't know why that one was so tight. Now, the reason why I'm doing only six inch and looping them is because this is very floppy. Oh, <laughs> So it doesn't really keep its form, but it creates a really nice effect for what I'm <laughs> gonna do. Good, googly. How it covers the board nicely and it's just it's just a cute a fluffy effect love it love it i keep petting it like <laughs> but the more you pet it and the more you bring it down it's where everything flies off so i'm going to continue six inch pieces fold it in half the loop part is going to be what's sticking out and you're going to have the ends inside the zip tie or you could do it backwards, completely up to you. There's no right or wrong. It really doesn't make a difference. Like you can see on the body, you're not gonna see the difference. Oui. Well, that I didn't fold properly. Come on now. There we go. 
and I'm making sure you guys can see it. That's why I'm, I don't have it to the side. I'm pulling on something and it's not bad. It's just, <laughs> it comes out. Dan, ask her how much snout I would have to trim off to make a pug. Hmm. I'm the engineer. A pug. All of it. So it would be like here, right? More. Here? More. Yeah, then that's just body. You need to have a little bit. Yeah. That's, I... how, that's how pugs be. Okay. Then I would say... It's not numbered this way, but if you go from <clears throat> here, 10, so this is, uh, I'm going to start with this row, go one, two, three, four, cut it off at the fifth one. I want to see that pug though. Needs jowls. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that would be cute. Oh, let me cut these off. Normally, Dan can figure out, I'll, I'll talk to him, like the, the wings today. I showed him the wings, and he's like, oh, they look like, um, what'd you say? Uh, dragonfly wings, or butterfly wings, because that's what they are. But, I don't want that. So, you just go back to the drawing board. Or you can have butterfly wings. It doesn't have to be Pegasus, Pegasus. It could be like a... A flying horse. Gary's here. Hi, Everybody Gary. drink. Everybody drink. <clears throat> Ask your kids. They'll have tons of ideas. It'd be ama it was amazing when Ricky was trying to give me ideas, and I'm just like, I don't even know where to start with that, Ricky, but that's so cool. But mama, all you need to do is this, 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 and this. They do have smushed faces, yeah. What about a schnauzer? <clears throat> I think the schnauzer... So if we're looking at it here, I would cut it here. What do you think for a schnauzer? I can't picture a schnauzer in my head. A schnauzer is like the Scotty dog, right? I call them Scotty dogs. What if you wanted to make a lab puppy? I mean, the board really doesn't, honestly, for labs lend itself very well to dog faces. I don't think well, you'd yeah. have to really. I told them it does. Yeah. Because I I saw some, I can't remember who they actually did a a dog. I would cut off unless you're doing a Doberman or a Great Dane. Keep the ear. But like for Sandy, I'll have to have the ear cut because she has floppy ears. I should have done a dog, guys. Uh, Dan, we need your jokes today to make our day. I can't do it. You can do jokes. I give Dan permission to do jokes. No. <laughs> but they're asking for it. I don't know if he has any jokes today. Oh, I've got plenty of jokes. Okay, and then your jokes. I've been banned. You have not been banned. Yes, I have. Guys, he says that I banned him. Uh, yeah. I just told him when I'm teaching. That's not what you said. These longer, longer legs. What has longer legs? The schnauzer? Wow. I thought a schnauzer was... Okay, see, like I said, our dogs are mutts, so... Not much. They're American shelter dogs. They're American shelter dogs. That's what we call them. So I don't know breeds all that well. I 
I do want to say that Sandy is a cross between a Rottweiler and a Doberman Pinscher. Just from her coloring and just the way he, she looks. But I thought a Schnauzer. This is so stereotypical. But it's the one that always have like the um, cute, uh, what should I call it? The, uh, oh, uh, the, the face, the furry face. And then they have like sweaters that everybody puts them in. And they yip. Maybe I'm thinking of a totally different dog. Like I said, guys. Okay, this is a 12 that I had left over. I'm just going to fold it in half and cut it to make six inches. I'm just going to have to cut some more. That's fine. <laughs> Julia, my dog, our pain's in the rumps. Well, so are mine. Okay, so we need to cut a few more pieces. So I'm just going to take my yarn and cutting at six. Two. When Sandy gives me welcome five. home kisses, she sticks her nose up my nose and licks the inside of my nose. That's when you're laying in bed, too. Like when he'll wake up, she'll be like, oh, okay, kisses time. I just cut them at six, folding them over. Is that eyelash yarn? It was called fuzzy yarn. I don't have the um, the wrapper anymore because I I threw it out. It was already open, but it's fuzzy yarn. It's the same yarn that I used to make the Unique in the Creek bunny. Barbara face. says she looked and she can't find anybody who made a dog. Oh no. Maybe I'm wrong then. Maybe I'm thinking of something totally different. I'm feeling okay, Gary. How you doing? It's Sunday. He was watching his uh, Mystery Science Theater. No, it wasn't. I was playing Star Trek. Okay. Well, you had it on the TV. I think he had it on the TV. Yeah. So those robots. No, he died. accused me of texting someone. And it was Star Trek. Remember? Oh, that's what you were doing. I was putting messages in Galaxy Chat in Star Trek. Does anybody else play games on their phone? I know there's Candy Crush. For a while I was playing Pokemon because Ricky was into it. We didn't have to catch them all. Kirshner's has faux fur. It's called Northland Fur Comfort. There you go. Oh. Okay. So now, that's so fuzzy. So cute. So you can still see here, but here's where I'm going to put, there's the hole for the bangs. Now the neck itself, there's a different, there's a huge gap right there because this is so thin. If you were using um, deco mesh or if you were using uh, the chunk fur that I used before, you wouldn't have to do this. But all I'm gonna do, and I'll flip it over so that way you can see. Hi, Michelle. Hello. I am just going to put a couple extra zip ties on there and I have some of this yarn left and it's not a lot that I can do another project with unless I have another roll or something so I am going to use what I can of it and just putting in extra zip ties right by the neck 
because it done it didn't done it it didn't give a lot of coverage. So we're just adding it. And I'll flip you around. So, so far that is four. And then I'm gonna do one more. <clears throat> just to make sure. Did something happen to your camera? No, why, what happened? Can you not see? Is it freezing? Then put the light on. Is that better? We just found out that feature. Or he found out that feature. Okay, so then all I'm doing, or all I did, was I took and I put a zip tie here and here. So if you want to take a screen capture of that, if you're going to be using this yarn. Screen capture. How am I feeling? I'm feeling good, Gary. I'm making Pegasus. <laughs> It's one of the mythical, mythical creatures that I love. Like I said, I'm a geek. So I'm just cutting, oh, how many of these did I say? One, one, two, three, four, five. I love Clash of the Titans. First time I saw that movie, I was like, oh my gosh, Medusa. Somebody needs to make a Medusa face for the, the character board so I can put it on the character board and I can make an awesome Medusa wreath. I tell you what, here at the shows we go to or used to go to. He was asking MJ. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Gary. See, this is where I would ordinarily say something like, see, it's not all about you. It's ah. not all about me. You're right, it's not all about me. Old Clash, not new. I like both. New ones I think I'm going to have Iva... I'm going to ping her and ask her if she can do Medusa, a Medusa face. Cause I, I agree, think, Marty. What? Marty. Old Clash. <laughs> Tom. I don't mind the new one, but the old one, that's definitely a classic. So I'm just doing the same thing. I'm folding them in half and putting them in the zip ties that I just put on the board. Just so I can fill it out just a little bit more so there's no gap. Gary says you're forgiven. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. He was asking you, Michelle Joseph. Michelle, how are you? <laughs> now I'm thinking about the Medusa. I should do a whole line of Clash of the Titans. <laughs> okay, let me shake her out. It could be considered a dog. <laughs> there we go. How pretty is that? It's so fuzzy. Oh my goodness, you just wanna lay on it. It's like a pillow. It's like an absolute pillow. How fun. Okay, now it's gonna get even more fun because I wanna go ahead and start putting on the mane. And the mane is gonna be these fabulous boas. So I have 
white feathers everywhere and now I'm going to have purple feathers everywhere. I already have pink feathers from yesterday. So I have two colored boas. I have a, a lavender and I have a dark purple. So with the mane itself, you normally want to cut them at 12 inches. You can get boas from anywhere. You can get boas from Hobby Lobby and Michaels when they are open, but you can also get them online and Amazon if you're not going out. I don't know if Craft Outlet has any, but I heard they're, they're opening back up this evening. Okay, these knots drive me nuts. And I'm not going to wreck my scissors, so I'm just going to take my cobalt pliers and I'm just going to cut them off. Those are cutters. Cutters. What did I say? Pliers. Pliers. Pliers, cutters, the cutters. So I'm just cutting off those ends. <laughs> There's purple. Oh, feathers already getting on. On my Pegasus. Or you can stop here, not put on the boas. But you can put on, like, if you have black or a brown boa, that would be pretty. And just may turn it into a regular horse. You can use the um, burlap. And you can, that's, uh, that's time consuming. But just take it and undo the threads so that way it looks like horse hair. You can use rainbow mesh. And I still have rainbow mesh, guys, if you want to order some. I'm scratching my butt with the back scratcher. Ew. And if you don't want some rainbow mesh, please PM me and let me know. And I can get that out to you. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, we want to cut them at 12 inches normally. Because you're going to fold them in half. This is it. Because I don't do unitaskers. Sweet. So I want 12 inches. Let's do... There's a big gaping area over there. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to do 14. See how that works. Let me clarify, just my cheeks. I'm not <laughs> scratching anything else. Just just my butt cheeks. <laughs> Where's the one that I just cut? Okay, so it's 14, 14. And then 14. And I'm just going to put every other, I'm gonna alternate the lavender. that wasn't as long. Okay. Alternate the lavender and then the dark purple. The dark purple I got at Mardi Gras time. Looks like rain. Huh? Looks like rain. I think it is going to rain. 14. That's my go-to when it comes to the, the main guys is the, the feather boas. Because I like it a little bit whimsical, I've, but can also do non-whimsical too. Okay. Gary and Tom, if you two don't stop it, I'm going to turn this live around and we'll go straight home. What happened? What are you doing? They're fighting like two brothers in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll turn it around, I swear. Okay, so then these are the holes for the main. Okay, these are your hanger holes. Main, main. Oh, that's, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hold on. Because you can see it here, sorry. The beveled in holes, can you see? The beveled in holes right here are the hanger holes. 
So it's here and here. I'm just going to put in my zip ties. I am behaving. This is how garbage my Fitbit is. So it just tells me I made 250 steps this hour, like I'm supposed to. But what I've been doing is scratching my back and my butt cheeks with a back scratcher. And that's how I made 250 steps. So, good job, Fitbit. Way to be wrong. I forgot the ear, guys. You didn't remind me about the ear. I'm going to get the ear on first. So, I see why dogs enjoy this so much. So the ear is going to be different. This is this is my chunk yarn. I cut it at 8 inches. Where did I put it? There it is. <laughs> and then I cut this also at 8 inches. Because I want the ear to stand up a little bit. Because this is so floppy. I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to put my zip tie around it. Is Ezio meowing? Is he sleeping? Is he all right? Our cat is making some weird noises, guys. So that's what it's going to look like from the back, okay? Then I'm going to put another zip tie through the back. I am going to, you can use anything for the ear. If you had a piece of purple felt that you wanted to use, use the piece of purple felt or whatever you're using on the, um, the horse frame. So now I'm going to go through, down through <sighs> the hole and go up. And then zip tie it. Oh, I put it in. I did. I put it in wrong. Let me see if I can turn it. There we go. And up. And then you're going to zip tie it down this way. And then we'll hit it with glue on the board to make sure that it stays. Just put a little bit of glue right here. Press it on, and then I'll do a little bit of glue on the inside. See? Pink feathers everywhere. Now we're going to have pink, purple, and white. Okay. Back to the mane. So all I'm putting is my zip tie through, and I'm going to start with the lavender. They're 14 inches. I'm going to see that um, just you can fold it in half to make sure that it's in the middle. I'm just going to gauge it, put it right down, and then zip tie it. And then zip tie it down. And you're not going to see the zip tie at all. And you're going to do that all the way down. Okay, so there's my hanger holes. I'm going to put in this one. Now I'm going to do a dark purple. I'm just going to gauge what's the middle. Now, like I said, if you had white or cream or brown yarn, maybe, you could do that with this. It doesn't have to be the feather boas. That's what I just decided to use. That's all. You could use anything for the mane. I have seen where they use um, deco mesh, really pretty deco mesh. 
and do the sunflower fold and put that in there. You can absolutely do that. See how easy this is? Super easy. Super duper. Just making sure that it's in the middle and zip tying it down. Does anybody have any questions? I know we're not done yet. But any questions on the yarn and how we did it if you're just joining? Get in my mouth, guys. <laughs> I have feathers everywhere. If you don't like a mess, don't use this. Because this is messy. Now you can also do lays. I've done um, my unicorn that's on my YouTube channel and the videos here where I did fabric felt and the main was um, lays. Lays are going to be coming out for the summer. So grab a bunch of them. Probably not. Make it fun and interesting. Okay, I have one more. So let me see. On the black one, it came down a little too far. I'm just checking. Yeah, I'll put a lavender one in there. This is 14. Yep. Last one here. Yeah, I'm not going to do the bottom one. Because the last time I did it, it was just went too far down. So I'm going to do one more right here. And then we'll check it again. But if you want it to be long and flowy, when it's on your door or in a room and the fan is going or the air conditioning or even the heater, it, it, it blows and it's just really pretty. Shake it out, shake, shake, shake it out, shake it out, shake, shake, shake it out. Yeah, because it stops right here, and that's why I like it. So that's what the. <laughs> Sorry, I got it up my nose. So now I'm gonna do the bangs for the purple and um, the lavender. I don't have like I did with um, my Clementine one, and. The other horse that I did with the chunk yarn, um, I don't have the little one, or the not the full boa, but that little, um, I don't know what it's called. It's just like fuzz fur or whatever. So I'm just going to do, just going to take the little pieces that I have that I cut. Is that 10 or 9? Which one, Gary? It's 9. What? Right here and then here. See, that's a little too much. So I'm going to go to six. Because I don't want it to cover up the face. Etsio is asleep on the windowsill over there. Yeah. Actually. Sandy is in Ricky's room, I think. Probably. If we're not. Yeah, I'm going to do three inches. Because I don't want it to cover up too much, but I want that little tuft of hair right there. So I'm cutting three inches and there's two here. So I'm going to double the dark purple with the um, lavender. Yeah, Shelby's on the couch and Sandy is laying on Ricky's bed, which is almost impossible to see because Ricky has black sheets and Sandy is black. So all you see is black. patches of brown. <laughs> And you can tell, oh, there, there's the dog. The dog is right there. <laughs> she has like predator camouflage when she lays on Ricky's bed. So I'm just taking my two pieces. The bridge, you can get it. 
These are just cut at three inches because I didn't want them too, too big. I didn't want it to fall too much on the face. But they're all still alive. It's getting harder to find food for them, though. What? It's getting harder to find food for them, though. The dogs and the cat? Yep. No? Yep. Dog and cat aisle, food aisle was full yesterday. Hello, Rose Harvey. Hi, Rosie. Okay. Did an ogre just walk in here? <sighs> yep. off that little piece of knot right there okay so that's what we have a little tuft of purple right there where it's not gonna just a little right there. <laughs> I'm gonna call a little a hair I may put one here hold on guys I'm yeah thinking. they'll deliver in what? 10 days what the dog and cat food company oh yeah <clears throat> a lot our local grocery stores next delivery day is uh, at least 10 days out well the pickup is the same way too and yeah and curbside pickup is 10 days out so I'm gonna show you guys what I did just added another bang Oh, you can't see. Sorry, guys. I'm still recovering. I worked for 12 days straight. So. And he thought it was going to have to work this weekend. So. Okay, so I did one, two, and three. I did closest to the ear. And then these two down here. And if you wanted, you could bring it a little bit further. Completely up to you. But I did these three for the bang. Now, I am going to make my really pretty rain. Moment of truth, he's about to fluff his watermelon slice. What? <gasps> CD, are you crafting while you're watching? Whoop, whoop. I don't know if I just want to do silver. Let me put this over here so that way you can see. Do I just want to do silver? Or do I want to do silver, silver and purple? And lay it on top. What do you guys think? Did I shave a parrot? I did shave a parrot, Rosie. <laughs> I shaved a, a whatchamacallit. Aw. Here, you're awesome. I shaved a, a peacock, or not a peacock, but a, a, whatchamacallit, flamingo yesterday. I shaved someone today. So what do you think? The purple and the silver, or just the silver? Now that I'm looking at it, I think I just want to do the silver. Purple. We could do both, the silver and the purple, and overlay it. You know how I like to make my own ribbon, guys. Silver. I'll wait just a minute because I know the, the comments take a bit. Purple, 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 purple. <laughs> I'll do the purple and the silver. Ugh, this little things drive me nuts. The rope themselves. Every time I see one, I want to cut it down. 
So we can do the silver and the purple. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fold it over. Not really measuring. Ah. But I will take some hot glue. Put a little hot glue right on the end, just so that way it stays and I'm not fighting with it while I'm trying to put it over the muzzle or the snout. There. Do the same on this end. Just a little bead. Doesn't have to be a lot. There we go. Let that cool. Then you go from behind the ear down. So I do it across the muzzle, behind the ear, and down around the neck. Like I said, I'm not measuring. I'm just measuring when I'm going around the board. Hey everybody, Dan's back. He's taking over and it's turning into the Dan Show. That's right, the thing that Amy told me specifically not to do, I'm doing it because, oh, I can't say that on here, because, because Farfagnugan her and Farfagnugan that horse. It's not a horse, it's a Pegasus. Farfagnugan that Pegasus. And then from the nose to behind the ear down to the neck, I'm going to put a strip right here. Because she enjoys murdering horses by choking them to death. I don't choke them to death. No, Mom, don't worry about it. I got it. There we go. I'll get it, Mom. Don't worry about it. Put that over to the side. I tried to get my mom to go get frosty adult beverages, and she's like, no, I'll die if I go out there. And I'm like, look, if I go out, and I get COVID-19 to get frosty adult beverages. <laughs> you're going to get COVID-19 too. Okay. If you go out and you get COVID-19, I'm going to get COVID-19 too. So one way or another, we're either all getting COVID-19 or none of us are. Okay. Either way, frosty adult beverages must be obtained. Okay, I'm just letting those cool. So while... Those are cooling. Well, that's fine. The Pegasus has wings. And like I said, I was playing with these. To see if these wings would look okay. But they look like butterfly wings. So I wasn't sure about that at all. And Nan said they look like, um... Murder ropes. Murder, what? Murder ropes. No, it's not that they look like murder ropes. It's that they look like a dragonfly. Let's see. So, I have... This is called... I don't even remember what it's whoop, called. Whoop, whoop! CD Crady says, make it the Dan show. Whoop, 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 whoop. This is my back scratcher slash butt scratcher. Look, look. Those weird stains, they were there before. Don't worry about it. I was only scratching my butt cheeks. I promise. Mm. Ooh, that looks pretty. That looks like a star field. Yeah. Hang on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Well, hold on. No, no. Give it wait, to wait, me. Give it thing. to me. No, wait, give stop. it to me. Hang on. Please. No, give me. Give me the thing. Look, everybody. We're traveling through the universe. Warp speed. Okay, there we go. So a Pegasus has feathered wings. And I don't have any angel wings. However, I did have this mesh. And it's not a mesh, really. It's a tool. It's a stiff tool. Stop talking. Amy, is anyone buying these? Very pretty. I miss making them, but none of mine sold at the big swap meet here in Lake Havasaw City, Arizona. It makes me sad. So I did give a lot away to friends and family. Take care and keep going. Aww, thanks, Barbara Pope Nancy. me thinks you are warped. You're warped, Barbara Pope. You are warped. 
Nancy, they do sell. It just takes a little bit of time. You have to find that perfect person that would want this. Oh, listen to Lady Damon over here. <laughs> hey, Damon ain't wrong. Do your wimps. Do your wimps. Do the wimps training. If he ever opens it up again, do your wimps training. And I'll make sure that I put my um, affiliate link. So it's a 20 by 20. It's a stiff tool that has... Um, You're a stiff tool. <laughs> What is this? It's a stiff tool. <laughs> no, the little pieces here. It's not, it's flocking. I don't know. Well, yeah, it could be flocking in it, and it holds its shape. Can so, you make it look like a unicorn? Because it does look like a unicorn. You could make it look like a unicorn. Yep, absolutely. It don't look like no dang Pegasus, I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't have the wings on it yet, and I'm about to put the wing on it right now. Uh, we'll see how this comes out. I don't know. She's starting to get the look, you guys. She's going to piss me off and I'm going to have to leave. Oh, I said the P word. Oh, man. <laughs> so this, the roll is 20 inches by 20. Snow drip mesh. So, well, it's not mesh. It's the tool. <laughs> You're a tool. So I'm taking it and I cut 20 by 20. Oh, oh, um, sorry. We never did answer... Uh, Nancy Gulliver Claus. I did. Um, we have sold zero. Oh, that's not true. That is true. We've never sold a horse head. Yeah, we have. Uh, no, we haven't. At hi, Margaret. Wizards and Wands. Mm -hmm. I sold the one that looks like a sea monster. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> for twenty bucks. No, not for twenty. Bucks. Or thirty-five. No. So I'm gonna go from corner to corner. And I'm going to scrunch it up. Mm. There's the look again. Just like you're doing a sunflower petal. Okay? Like on regular mesh. Okay? Then you're going to bring it to meet the ends. And I'm going to have one, the top, longer than the bottom. Okay? And that's how I'm going to put it in. Ugh. I need my my chip clip really quick. Now normally, you know, everybody's like, oh, we should put it up here. The wings would be down farther at the base. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it farther down at the base. Now you can add the wings. You could put a unicorn horn on this. Completely up to you. Hi, Margaret. Um, but... Hey, Margie! This is what I wanted to do. I want to make something I just don't know what dumb. You want to make something? I want to make something I just don't know what dumb. Hmm. That's what she said. Word for word. I don't know what you want to make. But yeah, they're hard to sell. Because, I mean, not a lot of people are just want a horse or whatever. Hey, Where hey. can I get this full? Rosalie Davila wants to know. Where did you get this wreath? Or if you're if you're talking about the shaking my head spell cha check, change it to dumb. Ha ha. Um, if you're talking about if you want to buy this, we'll sell it to you. Absolutely. <laughs> but Everything's for sale here. But if you're talking about the if you're talking about the tool, uh, I don't know. Walmart. The tool I got at it was at Walmart. Um, during the Christmas time so now see all I just put it at the base I just put it in I put it over what? I put it over one of the a uh, mains now you can bring it up you can bring it down it's just his wings is normally at this back so that is his wings her wings And you can put another one up here if you wanted. Completely up to you. So that is the wing. Ah, here's my mother. Why? What happened? Oh, apparently I called her. All right, let's get this on. So I'm going to put it around the muzzle. 
and I'm not putting it too tight. Let me turn it around so you can see. Normally, a gauge that I use is one, two. I'll normally put it right in between, okay? You're just gonna hot glue just a little bit. Yeah, if you're interested in this, just PM me. Um, I'll have to figure the cost and I'll let you know. Uh, Barbara says that at home had it for Christmas. Oh, there you go. Well, I know I got this from Walmart. Cause I was like, holy, holy crud, they had it. So this one goes from behind the ear to the chin. Once again, I'm just going to flip it over again. It's just easier to work from the back at this point in time. So between the ear you go right here. Ah, that feather is just in my way. Just a little bit of glue. Doesn't need to bite a lot. Yeah, after my phone updated, I had a, I had a, um, your board is Boeing by BT Dubs. What? Your board is Boeing. What do you mean my board is Boeing? It's Boeing. How's it Boeing? It's bent. That's because it's the weight is on the okay upside down. Gary said to tell you that. Oh, well, it could be the weight of the actual all the yarn. Love that idea. Wings would be great on a fairy too. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, I was gonna say something. I forgot. Oh yeah, yeah. Ever since my phone updated, freaking, um, it's like it reset all of my um, my auto corrects. And it doesn't understand my common errors anymore. So it's been changing like when I misspell a word with my giant Vienna sausage fingers. It's been changing it to like weird stuff. I don't know. It's stupid. Thanks a lot, Android. Still love you though. Uh, Deborah Harper got it at Walmart at Christmas. It's called Snow Mess. Yep. She has it in blue and white. Oh, I didn't see it in blue. It's my favorite color. Okay, this I cut too long. I'm just trying to angle the board so that way you can see it, guys. It's not the camera. So that's why I'm continuing to move it around. That's because everybody, let it go. Let it go. Can't hold back anymore. Let it go. Let it go. So I'm just putting it behind. I'm going to put a dab of glue right there. And I'm just going to glue it right underneath. Craft Outlet is Snow Tool Mesh. It's 10 inch. Hi. Okay, yeah, I made it a too long. That's okay. I'm just going to take it, hot glue it here, and then cut it. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> what? Mom. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, he probably got a phone call from his mom. Oh, geez, mom. She's probably dying. <laughs> and I'm just hot gluing it underneath. Okay. And if you wanted to, you can do brains from underneath here to here. Completely up to you guys. I'm not going to do that. I like this right here. I don't know what's going on with that. Just putting a little glue here so that way it stays in place. I love it. Okay, let me get my. Oh, that's not my. My zip tie for the hanger. I know this took a little bit, guys, but I am happy with it. Bear with me here for just a moment. That's not a bear, it's a horse. It's, it's a horse. I'm just putting my, um, whatchamacallit, hanger in, and then I'll lift it up so that way you guys can see. What is this? It's a pick. What do you use this in? Whatever you want. It doesn't make any sense. 
Okay, I'm getting her pretty for you guys. Hold on. If anybody can tell me what this is, I'd appreciate it. Let me get her pretty, and then we'll turn the camera. Oh, brother's in the doghouse. Uh-oh. Brother who? Brother, brother who? Dan? Brother, brother Dan's, Dan's not in the doghouse. He's well, not in the doghouse. Actually, Brother Dan is in the doghouse, but with uh -huh. his mother this time, not uh -huh. not his Amy. <laughs> What'd you do to your mother? I bothered the pee out of her. Hold on. He's making her pretty. <gasps> I love her. Mmm. Okay. She is ready for her close-up. It does look more like a pixie horse than a pegasus. Looks like a pixie sis. So what does that mean too? Are you gonna put a butterfly on it? You can put it up now. She's gonna put a butterfly on I it. I may put a butterfly. Hmm, yes, yeah, stinking. This butterfly. one is too heavy. These I got at Walmart in their Easter section, but that's way heavy. Mm, stinking. Unless I put it right here. You're going to put the butterfly on its nose? It's a horse. It'll go like... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Get out of here, butterfly. But like on the tip of its nose. Dan, pull up the camera. I did. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, here, I'll pull up the camera. Hang on. Here we go. The there. comments are... Camera's pulled up. The comments are slow coming through. Put the camera down. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. Sarah Colnett. Just pretty. I love these butterflies. I just don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. You can leave the butterfly there if you want. <laughs> I just think this is pretty. Look at these little horse fly. Ew. What? Do you think pegasuses get, like, bothered by flies a lot? You know how horses are constantly swatting away? Yeah, Mickey. Mickey Davis says, no butterfly. Okay. Get that thing off of there. Get, I'm getting you. Get, it's off. Marty Eiser said it turned out really nice. Thank you. See, the vision was in my head. These wings would have been just, I don't know. Oh, wire coat hanger bent covered in snow mesh would make a great wing. We don't have any wire coat hangers here. Yeah. We have like this. Like stuff like that. Yeah, I, don't know. I could always use that too. Oh, it just hit my face. Sandra Easter B is back. Hi, Sandra. Are you done with your cable to toss? Oh no, I think I'm frozen. Barbara Pope says beautiful. Thank you so much. See, Barbara Pope, every time I look at your comment, I'm looking at your picture. And this would be great um, yarn to do your dog in that picture. Linda says she hasn't tried these boards yet. Oh, Linda, you need to. Go ahead and click on my... Um, Whatchamacallit, my affiliate link and my pin post, or go to uniqueinthecreek.com and type in A R C R A F T S, all capital letters, get 10% off. They're super easy. Go to my YouTube channel, Amy Rose Space Crafts. Um, I have the rose on there, I have the daisy, I have a whole bunch. They're super user friendly, it just they're really easy to use. I looked right in the light, and now I got a spot. Now, I'm not normally one to give my opinion, but if I could offer some constructive feedback to uh -huh. Ms. Mr. and Mrs. Goldfinch, I would say, don't make these horse boards. Why? Why? That's a great question. Why? Why? Because out of all of the designs that they have, this is the least versatile. That's not true. I think so. That's not true. That is my opinion. That is my opinion. Thank you, CD. See, this looks too, I don't know. That just looks a little bit better to me. But you do you guys. Just another 
a different way to use the horse board. And if you wanted to, Pegasus doesn't normally have a horn. You could put a silver horn on Pegasus. It, it could be a Unicus. It could be a Unicus. You can do that. It could be a Pegacorn. Completely up to you. Does anybody have any questions? Just something fun. How cute would this be on a wall in a bedroom? Just really, really cute. It doesn't have to be on the front door. It, do, it can be on the door to the child's bedroom. Or it doesn't have to be a child. It could be a teenager. It could be an adult. My nephew has the flamingo on his. Why not? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm seeing spots because I'm looking right in the light. Right? It'd be perfect for a little girl's bedroom. It's just fun. It's fantasy. And that's what we need right now. We just need happiness. And this makes me very happy. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Rosie. They would open flame for a few minutes. Boop. You'll burn and you won't even know it. <laughs> All right, guys. Any questions? Hi, Esther. Hello, Esther. First time watching you. She loves it. Well, Thank you, Esther. I appreciate that. You missed out on me for most of this, Esther, and I'm sorry for that because everybody knows I'm the true star of this show. He is. I am with the making of the wreaths and whatever, and he's the one that fills in the dead air <laughs> when I'm doing stuff. So. But welcome! Hi! Go ahead and click on Pegasus right now. Click right here. Go ahead and click on the three dots that come up. It'll be, it'll ask you to follow me on my page. Go ahead and do so. I normally either post or create an event. So that way you know exactly when I'm going live and kind of what I'm doing. This was a mystery today. Maybe I'll do some mystery stuff. Maybe I won't. But what? Oh. <laughs> also, once That's again, for Gary. check out my YouTube channel. I'm so excited about that. This will be uploaded to my YouTube channel tonight. YouTube Denise says, channel. yeah, Dan, you should have pinged me. I just got here. Lol. <laughs> Lol. I'll go ahead and take a picture of her. And send it out to the universe. Hey, you guys, if you want, I'm going to give you a song suggestion. It has absolutely nothing to do with this video, but um, everybody's cooped up. Everybody's feeling all claustrophobic. We're sick of being at home. I'm sick of being at home. Mm -hmm. I'm done with this place, but we can't go we back to, to go work. Shopping. We can't really go out. I'm going to give you a song that will make you feel happy, no matter how you're feeling. And it is called The Music Box Dancer. Just search for it on YouTube, listen to it, and you will immediately feel like a happy, happy little bunny in a field full of clovers. That is not a joke. I'm not being sarcastic. Thank I truly you, love that song. I appreciate so, that. That's my suggestion. The music box dancer. Oh, Sandra, you're fine. Sandra, go to YouTube. Sandra. Too. Sandra. I, I have spots. I'm not lying. Spots because the light right there, I have spots everywhere. That's why I'm like, uh. Um, and if you are interested in purchasing anything that I make, please go ahead and check me out on Etsy, on my amyrosecrafts.com, or just PM me, and I'll give you a price. Everything's for sale. And until next time, so long, farewell, Avida say adieu, 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 to you and you and you who, bum ba da dun 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 Bye, guys. Mwah. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a good one. I'm going to show you my cat. Hang on. Hang out with me for a second. Ow. Sorry about that. That's our kitty kitty. Etsy. Kitty kitty. Etsy. That's where he's been the whole time. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.